Hi guys, I have another Copic coloring and card tutorial for you today and today I'm doing our pack of Halloween. I'm gonna use a whole bunch of different stamp sets from uh, Lawn Fawn to make this card. I'm using some uh, the alpaca, uh, it's called outside stamp set. It's a winter stamp set but I wanted to make it Halloween stamp. Um, and then I'm using some parts of the party animal stamp set. I'm using this cute little pumpkin um, chico treat bag and the little witch's hat. I've stamped them on some um, post-it note, on the sticky part of the post-it note to make my masks because I couldn't find my masking paper. Um, and it works pretty good. They're so small so you get the tape or, or the stick apart all over them. Then I'm putting them onto my little stamp set and then I put the stamps on top of the masks and pick them up with the same stamp block. So then I get them in the right uh, places where I want them. I put the masks on top of the thing I stamped and then I stamp my little alpaca. And that way um, I get the hat and the little trick and treat bag on the foreground uh, of my little alpaca and then I just remove the masks and it's time for to do some coloring and the coloring today is just very simple uh, L'Enfant's stamps are very small and I kind of like it because you can do some coloring but you don't have to do a lot of coloring uh, it can be fun to do that sometimes I'm using some purples for the frame and I'm giving it a little bit of a di dimension by shadowing it on the bottom left corner. And then I'm also putting some uh, very th teeny tiny shadows uh, on the inner right upper corner of the frame because then it gets to be a little bit 3D. Uh, it looks like it stands out a little bit more um, than just stamping it. I'm going to take the same purples into the headband and into the scarf, putting the shadows uh, at the same place as I've done on the frame, so it looks like it's a cohesion light source. Then I'm using the warm greys, the 6 to 10 for our hat, and the four, uh, 0, 2 and 4 for her fur. So she gets to be a little bit of a greyish alpaca. Which doesn't need to look like she's purely white because it's a Halloween stamp and Halloween is a little bit dirty or scary or something. Then I'm adding some E40s for her little face and some YRs uh, and E's to the little pumpkin. I'm using the dies for those frames to cut out uh, the little frame. You can use your scissors too, but I had the dies. Thought it would be fun to play around with them. Uh, also, I'm using my Martha Stewart craft knife to cut out in the middle. And it wasn't until I sat down and actually uh, did the replay and started doing the voiceovers that I realized that I could have cut it out with a little bit of a white border to make it a little bit more cohesive. But I didn't this time, so it's gonna be uh, the frame of my shaker card. So I thought, well, it can look like this. I actually really like it. Um, and as if you can see, I actually move the paper more than I move the knife when I do this. Then I'm taking um, a liner. This is a brush liner, the Copic multi-liner ones. And I'm just adding a little bit of black on the inside of the frame. And this is to kind of don't show that I cut a little bit crooked. It looks like I cut just on the line. Um, it helps it to stand out a little bit too. Then it's time to start making this into a shaker. I'm using my SIG two-way glue pen on my frame all the way around because I think it's a good way to get that, get enough glue to put that on because it's very teeny tiny little frame. And then I'm adding my little sheet. Something you don't see here because it's got cut my or my battery runs out of the camera, is that you can, I've cut around it so it's actually, you can't see the frame on the outside, which you could when I put that glue on. Then I'm just cutting it out with 
the little alpaca out with my cutter bee scissors which I really really like they are EK success cutter bees and they are my absolute favorite scissors for doing facet cutting um, I have very small hands and I think that is also one part why I like this scissor because it's a pretty small scissor but it fits very good in my hands And I'm giving the alpaca that little uh, white outline to match with the outline on the outside of my little frame piece. So I'm trying to get about the same width of white outline on her. Then it's time to do the frame part. Um, I'm using some 3M scotch tape, foam tape. And this is the second layer I'm putting down. It took a while before I understand that my camera, or it actually was my memory card that ran out of space. And my camera doesn't tell me that it ran out of space. So I lost a chunk of footage, but that's okay. I'm doing two layers and then I'm going in with my little powder tool to kind of get the sticky away from the parts that I didn't overlap with the tape so that my all my sequence will stay in the sequence in the shaker and you can shake them all without they st stick into the frame sides uh, I'm adding this is just a bunch of sequins that I've had for years I think the pumpkins and, and and bats and stuff are supposed to be table decorations but they're so small and cute and I knew that I really needed to use them in my shaker at least one shaker uh, before the end of the year or before Halloween ends I'm putting my little shaker apart and then or not apart at side and then I'm gonna start working on the background uh, I did have a white background plan from the beginning, um, but it didn't look good, so I'm redoing it in strong colors instead. So I start by using some Versamark ink and stamping with that with my Booja stamp set. And then I'm making my own background with these little stars. Uh, Lawn have a background stamp uh, with stars and dots that they just released. And I don't have that, but I thought, hey, you have like all of these stars and hearts and things in all of these stamp sets. So I thought, well, I'm going to use these little stars for my background. After stamping them in my Versamark, I am adding some Hero Arts white embossing powder on top of them. And I'm heat setting that. And now the fun begins. Uh, I'm using this... I'm using distress inks and I'm using a resist technique. This is why I use the white embossing powder. Um, and I'm using uh, wild honey, uh, spiced marmalade, ripe persimmon, festive berries, um, and then I'm going. Uh, I'm going forward and backwards a little bit to blend it a little bit better. Then I'm using some festive berries and at the top just teeny tiny at the top I'm using some of this um, purple concord color of uh, inks to make it a strong bold color then I'm going over with a dry baby wipe to kind of remove the distress ink that is on top of the um, heat embossed emboss the, the embossing powder heat embossed embossing powder to make it really crisp white I really love this technique because it gives such a cool effect and you can use basically any kind of embossing powder and, and combine it with other colors and stuff so yeah I'm putting this little shaker on my grid mat to kind of line it up so that it sits straight onto my background card I'm just pressing down and the shaker part is done you can shake it all around another card I will go on shaking uh, then I'm adding a double layer of foam tape also on my little alpaca as it is double layer on the frame so it's deep enough for my little sequence and it's almost done then I'm doing my little card base it's 
cut down to three by six. Um, as you see here, I'm kind of measuring, looking that, yeah, the three inch was a good square size. So it's three by six, and then I'm scoring it at three inches. Um, just folding it uh, with the crease on the outside and adding some tape to our little panel and then the card is done if you like it please a thumbs it up it means a lot to me if you have any questions just comment down below down below you find links to all of the products i used also a link to my blog where you can see a photo of this um, and yeah shake your card thank you so much for watching and uh, at the end of this video you can also find two annotated videos one full shaker card and one more lawn fawn halloween so thank you again i'll see you bye